Day celebrations are dampened by its war with Hamas. This as U.S. officials continue to warn Israel not to push forward with a ground assault in southern Gaza that could put the lives of civilians in jeopardy. Right now, hundreds of thousands are fleeing Rafah as Israeli airstrikes are already underway. ABC's Alexis Christophorus with more. With some of the most intense fighting for weeks now taking place on both the northern and southern edges of Gaza, Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians are again fleeing to safety. Satellite imagery shows the rapid growth of a refugee camp in southern Gaza as Israeli forces appear to be pressing ahead with plans for a ground attack on Rafah. About 400,000 Gazans have now left Rafah, according to the United Nations. According to the Hamas-run health ministry, the death toll in Israel's military operation in Gaza has now surpassed 35,000. The U.S. State Department says it is possible Israel may have violated international law during its war with Hamas. It's reasonable to conclude that there are instances where Israel has acted in ways that are not consistent with international humanitarian law. The war was triggered by a Hamas-led attack on southern Israel October 7th, in which some 1,200 people were killed and more than 250 people taken hostage. Today is Israel's Memorial Day. Mourners gathered to remember loved ones killed by Hamas gunmen at the site of Nova Music Festival. We all want the war will end, but we didn't start it. Israel says it's doing everything it can to protect Palestinian civilians, but also vowing to expand its operation in Rafah. Alexis Christophorus for Channel 7 Eyewitness News.